Max Lapidus is a true fan, a man who has loved his team and his ballpark for his entire life. Max, after, after 65 years in this ballpark, and I, I don't know anybody else, no fan, anybody, who spent that much time in a ballpark, if I say to you two words, Tiger Stadium, what do you say? The only place to start is with my father. My father was old enough to remember the start of the American League in 1900. And between the two of us, we probably, or I probably spent more time in a ballpark with my father uh, than most kids spend with their fathers in a lifetime. My father was a consummate fan. Uh, when I was a kid, we went to every single weekend ball game. Uh, when they put lights in and I could go at night and I was a young adult, the two of us used to see together maybe 50 to 60 ball games a year. And we talked. And my whole, uh, my whole life, which was based on things that my father taught me and, and, and uh, related to me, a great deal of that was interwoven with our discussions of what was happening on the field. And... Uh, that's it. The ballpark really means my father. Well, you go back to Navin Field, right? I go back to Navin Field before the stadium was reconstructed. I think it was 1937 or 1938 with the wall in left field, which went on to Cherry Street. And I remember the Sunday doubleheaders with, uh, with the overflow crowds standing roped off in the outfield. And the gentlemen stood in the hot sun out there with, their, with shirts and ties and straw hats on. Uh, growing up in Detroit uh, as a Jewish kid, uh, you have to remember we had our Hank Greenberg in those days. And unless you experienced what he meant to us as kids and what he meant to the community, it may be a little bit hard to understand. It was, it was a depression. Uh, a lot of people were struggling to make a living. Uh, it was a time that uh, the war was brewing in Europe with, uh, with the Nazis and anti-Semitism in Greenberg became the central part of anybody who loved sports and loved baseball in this town. And uh, we all grew up with that, and that was a major thing. Going to the ballpark and seeing Hank Greenberg uh, was something that all the kids, I mean, we used to ride the streetcars down, we would take the buses down, we would usher, we would do lots of things to get into that ballpark, which of course was Navin Field, and then it got uh, transformed into Briggs Stadium. But those are the memories that come back from the 30s, and they are extremely vivid in my mind. Baseball was a central part of life in the whole city of Detroit, and of course the stadium was the focal point of that.